Is this the most challenging time of your entire career? Yes, without question. You know, it's, it's more challenging to close the deals because of the lending crisis. So I had one deal that I just closed that took an extra 60 days to close and trying to keep the sellers in check to be patient and, you know, for them to realize it's not the buyer's fault that we're dealing with this whole new situation. Um, and it just takes longer to appraise the properties and everything else. So how is it that you get through every single day? Just thinking that next sale is going to come, it's going to come? We're, we're as good as our last sale. Right. So it's interesting because I just talked to someone and they just got um, fired from their position at their job. And I said, I'm basically, I don't have a paycheck. Every day I have to go in to try to get my next paycheck. And that my friend said, wow, that's really interesting. That's a really interesting way to look at it. But that's basically what I, I go into the office with a great attitude. And my feeling is if you feel great about yourself, sales, it's really important in sales because you want to have that energy and that, that positive energy, I should say, and the confidence to get through challenging markets like we do have today. Do you see us ever emerging from this? Of course. Definitely. Of course, you have to be optimistic, but it's been a few years and it's really tough for people to really see the light at the end of the tunnel. But isn't that always the situation when the stock market crashed mm -hmm. and everyone thought it was the end of the world? That's when people stepped in, they tripled and quadrupled their money. I feel it's the same way about real estate. We're at the bottom of the market and there's amazing deals out there. And I think when everyone says it's the end, that's when you should step forward. And so how long do you think it's going to take before the market truly takes a, a big turn in the right direction? I'm seeing energy, an injection of energy in the market right now, which is kind of exciting. And with these, all these international buyers coming through, I, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling it happening right now. And do you think that they're going to spark um, a little bit more interest from Americans? Maybe as more and more homes, maybe these international buyers come in, they start buying up properties. It's just going to start fueling the market a little bit more. Maybe more Americans are going to get a little bit more confidence in the market and start reaching into their pockets as well. Well, I think every sale is a, a vote of confidence for the market, mm -hmm. especially on these higher levels. When the high market starts selling, it gets confidence throughout the whole market. So we're starting to see that from Beverly Hills. I know the New York market's really busy right now from what I've been hearing. And so, you know, it just transfers over.